Make sure if your husband is righteous towards his family, especially his parents, and respects his sisters, and is affectionate with them. Make sure that you will have a yes husband. He who is good for his family will have good for others and vice versa. So my advice to every wife when you get married, go to your husband's family and his family with good intentions. Treat them like your family, especially if your husband is a real man, and even when you are wronged, he stands for the truth. And no one is allowed to insult you. For his sake, be patient with his mother's abuse, especially, for no matter how evil your mother-in-law is, his mother will remain. So you overlook and ignore, especially if your residence is independent and you do not visit them often. Treat her like your mother. If you go out with your husband to buy your needs, don't forget to remind him to buy something for his mother. You will grow in his eyes and his love for you will increase. If you make a determination in your home for your family, do the same for his family, even if they hurt you, I speak specifically of his parents. If you buy a gift for your mother, buy a gift for his mother, in the end, it is her son's money. Unfortunately, there are wives who love everything for their family, I once read a true story, that one of the husbands called his wife to bring lunch because his family would visit him. I started to complain that I am sick and not ready to receive guests, etc. He told her the important thing is to prepare food for them while they are on the way. What I prepared was salad and pizza, and grumbled and sneered, as if those who would visit it were enemies, and I forgot that honoring a guest, even if an enemy is ours, is a characteristic of Muslims. And when he knocked on the door, she was frowning and in her house clothes. She opened it, and they were her family. The lesson is that her husband wanted to deliver a message to her. Treat my family as you would like me to be treated. I am your family. My sister, make sure that any man, even if he does not express what is inside him, if he sees you interested in his mother especially, he will love you more. And he says, Praise be to God, who has blessed me with a good wife. She reminds me of the necessity of visiting my family, inspecting their conditions and acquiring things for my parents. And remember as you condemn. If you were evil and incited your husband against his family, rather you would create problems if you saw him as righteous with them. One day your son's wife will do the same to you. So be patient with their harm, and if they go too far, you are not obligated to visit them and reach them. But do not be like the devil whispering to your husband and inciting him against his family. On the contrary, Always remind him of the necessity of honoring his parents, visiting them and buying gifts for them.